you need a marriage certificate. My name is Olusha Gumopolu. Did you know that many people claim to be married today and they have no form of legal documentation for their marriage? Let me say up front that it is not a certificate that made ma marriage. Before certificate came, there has been marriage. Before there was a judge, before there was a lawyer, before there were laws, there was marriage. It is God that joins two people together. However, we live in a legal society. You cannot go to the, an embassy, for example, and say that, oh, I'm married. They will ask you, where's your marriage certificate? It is true that you are married, but you need a legal means to justify, to support the fact that you are married. You can't do that with the words of mouth. You can't say, oh, the embassy official should come to your house. They will see that you are living with your husband or you are living with your wife. So you need that instrument. That is why you must marry properly. Don't go into a marriage without doing all the necessary documentation. Particularly as a woman, you are putting yourself at a disadvantage. Even for the sake of your children. And we've seen that many times some of this marriage go wrong. But the man can simply walk away. There is nothing, there is, there is no legal framework that you have committed yourself to with that man. You can't say that, you can't say that he's, he's involved in infidelity. He will tell you he's not married to you. Prove that he's married to you. He will tell you he's not married to you. So why will you go into marriage without having some uh, documentation? See, it's like having a child and having birth certificate. It's not birth certificate that brought that child to the world. That birth certificate is, an, is a legal instrument to support the fact that this child was born so, so, so dead. But it's important. It's very important. It's the same thing. Go through the process of getting wedded correctly and have a marriage certificate. If you're in a marriage today and you don't have it, please do it as soon as possible. And let me tell you, it becomes difficult for you. Because most of your, either your husband or your wife, one party may say, oh, I'm not interested. Because now they are in it. They can say they are not interested and you cannot force them to go and do it. Because some are, some are in the marriage now and are looking for a way of escape. And they feel that if, you, if they go the legal route, you may have something to hold them down. So they may not want to. I pray that yours will not be like that. Please, if that marriage does not have a legal backing, please go and do it. It doesn't mean that you are not married. But go through the process. Go and do it. Get it. Keep it. When your children show, go, show them that you married each other properly. Teach them also to marry, to get married properly. Please, let's begin to learn to do things right. If the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? This concept of a woman just moving into a man's house and they are just together. It's because you are not thinking of the future. You don't know anything that could happen that will require that you show some proof or evidence that you are married. You may need it seriously tomorrow. Your children may even need it tomorrow. So please, don't be in a marriage that does not have any legal framework that is holding it, that is backing it. Please, don't be in such marriage. If you are in such, please get it done as soon as you can. And I pray that the mercy and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be with you. My name is Olusha Gumoku Olu. God bless you.